Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today um, I'm going to be showing you um, some new products that I got for my nails. And I still at the moment have on um, the hot pink color that I talked about. And I'm going to take it off today, but I'm not sure um, what color I want to put on next. So I'm still trying to decide. I think I might want to do French tips. And I'm still indecisive. I don't know. I got some new polishes and some exciting things came in the mail today. So I'm going to talk about those. But comment below if you um, comment below of what color I should put on my nails next. And I just might choose your color. So comment below. So, the nail I got, um, these, I don't even know what you call these, I guess they're like swatch, um, thingies, like plastic fingernails. Let me open it. Hold on, guys. Let me get scissors. I'll show you what they look like. really cool. This is something that you always see in the nail shop. Uh oh, they're all falling apart. <laughs> I guess they don't already come on the hook. Well, it comes with a little ring you have to put it on, so I have to set it all up. <laughs> but this is really, really cool for when you want to test out um, polishes and you don't want to put it on your own fingernail. So here's a little fake plastic um, swatch fingernail. I have a bump, you guys. Ignore it. <laughs> this is what it looks like. And I'm going to have to put it on the little ring. And that's how I'm going to show you guys when I get new nail polishes, how I'm going to swatch them. So that came in the mail. And I today I went to Sally's Beauty Supply Store and got something that I've been needing for like a long time. I got some nail polish thinner and I have tons of polishes and some of them are like pretty gloopy and so this is like a must nail polish thinner and this one's by Beauty Secrets yeah I definitely needed this especially for cream formulas um, yeah any type of cream nail polishes they always get gloopy for some reason usually metallics are um, much better and much thinner and the next thing that I got is cuticle oil yeah I never have bought in, um, like legit cuticle oil before I usually only use coconut oil so this is new for me I'm gonna try it out yeah cuticle oil I'm trying to hide my bump. <laughs> um, yeah, I got those two things today that I needed. And the exciting thing that I got yesterday that I'm going to show you guys is I got um, my belly button pierce. And I've been wanting this for like forever, forever, forever. And I'm going to show it to you. And then I'm going to tell you about how... Um, if it hurt or not. Okay, I'm going to show you right now. There it is. I think it's pretty cute, guys. Comment below and tell me what you think. <laughs> I like it. Um, it didn't hurt at all, actually. Like, if I can rate it on a scale of 1 to 10, I would say 0. 0.5 to 1. Like, it's a teensy bit sore when you touch it, but not, I can't even say sore. I would say just, like, feels like a little pinch if you press too hard on it. But I'm so confused when I watch girls' videos about this and they talk about how bad it hurt. They have to be lying. Like, it doesn't hurt at all, at all. When people say it's like a 6, it's like, you're retarded. <laughs> doesn't hurt at all 
And maybe the difference is I went to a, a place where they use numbing. Maybe some places don't use the numbing. So maybe that's why it hurts. Um, yeah. So that's, <laughs> that's all the things I want to tell you guys about. And yeah. Thanks. Bye guys.